What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Don Tripp popped up with one final album of 2016. Earlier in the year, he put out The Head That Wears the Crown. It was a solid album. Um, it wasn't better than Godspeed. I think Godspeed is like peak Don Tripp. But anyways, he put out this album titled Two Clip Trip. Don Tripp is an artist who I've followed for many years. When he was signed to Interscope and had Letter to My Son, when he got dropped and started doing stuff with Starlito, the whole Step Brothers series, I've watched Don Tripp get better as an artist over the years. You know, he's up there, um, you know, improving alongside uh, Young Dolph, Juicy J, and Starlito. Don Tripp didn't give himself much time to promote this album. I found out about Two Clip Trip two days before, and I think that was just a fluke. If a site hadn't posted the intro, I might not have known about this album until after it came out. So I don't think that is a smart marketing tactic, especially for someone like Don Tripp. You want to kind of build the hype for it. And I think he kind of dropped the ball with that. But I understand you probably want to get this out of the way and just move on to the next one or something. But I think Don Tripp is someone who needs to promote a little bit thorough. Out of the three albums that Don Tripp has dropped in the last two years, I think Two Clip Trip is my least favorite. Godspeed, then The Head That Wears the Crown, and then Two Clip Trip. Now I wanted to talk about my favorite songs, Day After Thanksgiving. This one is on here because there's one line that I really loved out of it. He says, don't wait too long to make amends because even Spider-Man couldn't save Uncle Ben. Don Tripp is great with some of these metaphors. He's also very horrible, and I'll get to that in a moment. But when he does connect a really nice punchline metaphor, whatever, he really does a good job of doing it. And I think that was just uh, one of the best lines on the album. The other record that is part of my favorite is Broken Arrow featuring Star Lido. If you can't tell, I want Step Brothers 3. I want it, I wish it was gonna drop this year, but it's not. So it's coming in 2017. And with this record, it continues to show the chemistry that the two have. Broken Arrow really brings out the best in both of them. They just complement each other. Another reason why this is on the list is because Don Tripp drops a wrestling reference. And I love wrestling references. He says, lift more weights than the Steiner Brothers got a knife sharper than a diamond cutter. Whew. He combined in the Steiners and Diamond Dallas Page. That's cool because a lot of people want to talk about Hogan and Macho Man, you know, the biggest wrestlers. And so, like, someone like the Steiner Brothers or Diamond Dallas Page doesn't get enough credit in rap songs. Now let's talk about the bad songs. First up is Deserve. Don Tripp has a habit of spinning these awful metaphors and punchlines and... I, w I thought he was improving. With Godspeed, there really wasn't too many of them, but in the last two releases, I've noticed that they're kind of popping up even more. I don't know if he just worked on Godspeed a lot more, but I think whatever he did with Godspeed, he should try to emulate it for future releases because that was like the peak, as I said earlier. So on this record, Deserve, he says, y'all tripping like a runny nose. And I'm just like, it's just not a, a good line. And there's a lot on the album that I that I noticed. And I didn't write all of them down. I probably should have, but I don't want to sit here and, you know, trash Don Tripp. Because I like him as an artist. I just want to see him improve a little bit more. The other record that I just couldn't get with at all was 2AM in Atlanta. I don't want to hear anything about Don Tripp's sex life. He's just not the artist that I go to for a sex song. This is a quick song, but it's also just bad. I don't want to hear about how Don Tripp is meeting up with this woman for sex. I don't want to hear about the actual act of sex going on. And I don't really want to hear about how you're going to have a baby with this woman and nine months later you end up having a baby and that's the end of the song. It just doesn't work for me. I think Don Tripp should leave those type of records to other artists. But, I mean, somebody got to enjoy it out there, I guess, if he continues to make records of this variety. Maybe Godspeed was a fluke. Don Tripp hasn't put out anything 
up to par with that since. And it could be unfair to judge because he's only two albums removed. But I just feel like some of the the songs on this album and the head that wears the crown, they're just regressions to an earlier unrefined Don Trip. It's just harder to get into these albums. And with Two Clip Trip, there's a lot more lines that are noticeably bad. You know, a lot of subpar punchlines. So with that said, the only thing I could say now is I really want Step Brothers 3 sooner than later because Trip and Starlito, they bring out the best in each other. And I know Step Brothers 3 is going to be a great project. I'm glad that they have given us songs throughout the year. So it's not like they've been missing in action. They've collaborated, but I'm ready for Step Brothers 3. So those are my thoughts on Don Tripp's Two Clip Trip album. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, peace.